All right, first things I'm going to say is that, uh, boy, am I ever happy that uh, well, the heat wave broke. I'm upstairs and I'm not cranky within like two minutes being up here and also always worried about uh, drip and sweat. And, um, geez, am I ever glad I uh, went and took a look at the rules again when I was just uh, yesterday because I was like, oh my goodness, I completely, yeah, um, I even mentioned it in a previous video. I was like, oh, I think I picked a good scenario on the fact that uh, I don't have to worry about all kinds of things such as improved positions. Um, I wonder if it's due to the fact of I'm um, used to, like I was saying, playing at a different scale. I just assumed when I read improved positions, I thought it was going to be some kind of like pseudo, pseudo uh, trench work or something that, you know, um, was going to be like scenario specific and it's like no uh any unit i more or less can uh attempt to um make where they are an improved position and it's i guess difficult for them to get out and the british uh un, i think it's un uh undisabled um or disrupted uh infantry units or maybe all british uh, and it doesn't matter right now, I'm not going to get into the specifics, but uh, probably a lot of the British and Japanese troops, yeah, the Japanese don't have an easier time, uh, they have a much harder time uh, uh, making improved positions and uh, they were unsuccessful in all their die rolls, uh, unfortunately for them, because they're just getting an annihilated. Uh, I did move, I'm trying to get some terrain get, getting going here, but my god. We're just going to get uh, killed here. I think these guys can maybe do mutual fire. We'll see. But with the they're still observed, and so it's uh, my attack strength on that target hex is halved, so it's not very good. I think I may get one to one odds, maybe. Um, so, anyways, I put it. I put every, all the British troops that I could into improved positions. Uh, I think I may have had to do one roll, or yeah, I think there was one of them around here. So, uh, disrupted but uh, I was like screw this I'm gonna see if we can we're in t turn 7 so we got till turn 15 I don't know what, how it's gonna happen but I have to start taking some unit some of the positions out here like I've got to get rid of these guys from the, the woods then I can kind of uh, see if I can zip on in here we don't know about this person yet but um, lucky for us it's not a machine gun unit so that's it I'm gonna and now I'm into um, some attacks but uh, yeah, uh, so it, this is just going to be, um, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to playing this uh, game again. That's uh, for, for, for certain. I'd like to find some other maps that uh, have this scale. It's interesting, I was reading up on uh, the scale for this, and a guy made a, uh, he said, oh, he went to, the, I guess, the original magazine or whatever, and um, because I guess later on it says it's 100 meters, um, to the hex, but he was like, uh, actually, I think it's 200, and he started showing why. Like, for example, the uh, the British troops, uh, the infant, uh, the machine gun has, uh, or the normal mach uh, troops have um, a range of six, and he goes, see, that's uh, 1.2 kilometers, which is what their effective range was, uh, fire, or whatever. I don't get me into the, like, you know what I mean? I'm just, he made a compelling argument, is what I'm saying. And so there we're going to go. Uh, I'm going with that. So I have to start re uh, removing these guys. So I think the in improved position, what it does, it does some amazing things. Uh, all units except mounted cavalry may go into, impro into improved positions. Yeah, I just assumed it was, uh, I didn't know they made them right there on, in, the, in the thing. This doubles the defense strength of the hex. It is shown by placing an IP marker under the unit on the improved hex. Oh, under the unit. Okay. All right, I'll do that then, since you guys want me to do that. Uh -huh. Yeah, so it's really nice to have it cool up here. I can, like I said, play things. And I have been enjoying this, and I certainly do want to uh, um, play it more and not make a trillion mistakes and see how it goes that way. So you're observed. So I'm assuming the observed thing, I don't know, let's just do the way they say it. So I'm going to go this way. He's observed. All right, which is kind of nice. Ah, this guy here, that's the one. 
I think I keep him still. I think. Let's do that. I don't know well, what it says there. I think it does say it somewhere. Uh, by placing on top of the unit. Okay. Yeah, it makes sense, and I can see everybody make a bit more of a decision thing. Yeah, the other thing I have to remind myself is that when I, I guess artillery is firing on artillery, they ha it is mutual fire if they're both within range, so I have to remind myself of that. Okay, and maybe I'll... No, I'm going to leave that there. That makes more sense. Um, just to remind, my, remind me whatever targets are there are observed. Okay, so what can I hit here? One... Nope. I think yeah, I think it's this is the only one I can go out here. One, two, three, four, five. And that's okay. I don't mind being observed afterwards. I'm in an improved position in the woods. That's pretty darn good. Okay, and this guy won't be able to shoot out. Or he's too far away. So Yep. And I think I'll just stay there, thank you very much. I guess I could have could've I could have stacked up. Now now that would have been a good time to stack up. Uh huh. No, that's making sense now. Mm, well, it's a little late now because I've <laughs> made my moves. Okay, and this guy cannot. Um, so that was done in the enemy phase. I wonder why I removed the first player's enemy disrupted thing. That's uh, um, before the mutual fire phase. Okay. But I guess that killed my movement or something? I don't know. But I'm going with it. So it says, remove the second player friendly disrupted. Uh-huh. Remove the first player enemy disrupted. All right. And remove any um, um, IF markers. Whatever the heck that is. All right. And so that's that. Okay. And I think the, and this guy can fire one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay. And I can't sh Oh, and I cannot, uh, I don't have, uh, hold on here. I think the machine gun dude can, uh, he's British. I think I can fire over, but okay. He's, it's, no longer di not direct line of sight, but this guy could be an observer for him, I think. I think that's how it works. Hold on here. And this book folds interestingly, so I have to time seven. Line of sight purposes of fire. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Sorry, I'm just going down here. Um, infantry and non-British machine gun units may not fire through hexes containing other units. All right. All undisrupted units may always fire directly into any of the six hexes adjacent to them. Oh, interesting. I don't remember that. I wasn't doing that. I was doing uh, regardless that they were observed. Okay, units remain concealed here. Um, so as far as I know, uh, I can still observe. I can still observe. Let's take a look again. Observed fire against those enemy units which fire at a blocking terrain. Yep. Yeah. And I need an observer to do that. Okay. Or I mean, like I can use somebody who's got a direct line of sight. Or do they? Can they be an observer for them? I guess I could say shoot at the, in the woods. Somewhere in those woods! Okay, as far as I know, if several units in the same hexes are fired upon. Okay. And it's machine gun units using direct fire at a range of three or less. They get their attack strength doubled. Alright. So I think I'm doing this right. Which, which is good. I don't know if it's going to help with the odds much, but we'll see. 
So that means uh, if I can sh 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, oh good. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I'm going to use this person. Shit, I don't know if I can be a an observer in the woods though for someone. Maybe I can't. Um, like maybe an observer, you have to be in a in clear terrain or something. I don't know. Um, sorry, I look this up. Um, Line of sight purposes. Okay. Units may fire f freely. Fire from okay. all units may trace their line of sight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Whenever a unit can fire directly at a given target hex, it can also serve as an observer. Okay, so neither of those guys can be observers for the machine guns. Okay, so they're out of, they're out of the running here. So that means I can only shoot with this person to their shit. Well, that's the way it works. I'll have to get the machine guns up there. I'll just, uh, like I said, le live and learn here. So that's... Um, Let's go with this guy. So it's 11 chopped in half. Uh, so five, uh, So down to a 5. Uh, so that's 1 to 1 odds. Because, nope, uh, yes, because he's in the woods. Because uh, it's what a woods target. Alright, so I'm going to roll here. I'll just tell you what he looks like. I'm start farting around here. Oops, it was a cock die. No, I don't like it. It took too long. Okay, that's a 5 on a 1 to 1. Um, no effect. This guy gets to fire back. I think he's an artillery piece. It's not much. He's only a two, but oh well, that's one to two. Uh, one to two odds. Uh, or when I go the other way, I should say. Now let's just still. That's one to two. He's a two and a five. Would be two and a half. So he sh I should say probably one to three odds. Um, yeah, let's go with the. Uh, uh, let's go with the one to three, I think. One to three and a five. Uh, it wouldn't have mattered either way. They're both O's. So um, no effect here and here. And then this guy gets to shoot. And does this guy? I don't think so, eh? Oh my gosh, he certainly does. That's a machine gun. Um, so um, so that's um, one to one odds again. Hello. Jeez, British infantry are really good. One to one on a with a one. Um, it's going to be a D result, so I'll end up having to pop a D on that person. And it's a 17. So that's an 8. So I'm still going with the one to one then. Machine gun fires back. Oh, oh, oh. But the person's in an improved position. So that's a 10, so that's a 1 to 2 odds. Oh, well done, Chris, you remembered. <laughs> and it's a 6 on a 1 to 2, so no effect. All right, so I've got to put a disrupted marker on there on an enemy, in an enemy phase. And I think that's it. I think I did all the combats. Did I do this one yet? No, I don't think so. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, just. Okay. And uh, it's a town. I don't have to look. But I'm just looking to see, I guess, if I can shoot back. Nope. All right. So they're just sitting there. But it's... Uh, that's a one to two odds because I'm a six and the town's a five, uh, an eight. All right. I should have done a one to three then again, shouldn't I? It's a four 
Let's see if it would have mattered. Nope, it's no effect either way. So that's it for that one. Um, and then we're going to be going off to the, uh, the central power's turn. I think, yeah, I won't... Uh, um, I'll leave, I'll leave everybody um, in, improved, in improved positions, but uh, I'm slow, slowly getting the hang of this. I'm sure I'm still making a ton of mistakes, but like I said, I think I'm getting better. All right, hope you're having fun. See you later.